Today we are going to have a look at Hasta Uttanasana, raised arm pose. Beginning in Samastihiti at the front of our mat, with the next inhalation, we will raise the arms up towards the ceiling, taking our drishti, our gaze towards the raised hands. Now usually these would be the cues that you are receiving for your Hasta Uttanasana, but there is so much more action going on in the body. So let's have a look from toes all the way up to the tips of the fingers what the alignment cues are. From the toes till the hips, it's going to be exactly the same as in Samastihiti, equal standing. So make sure that you go over to that video and check out all the alignment cues for your Samastihiti. So as you can see, our spine is in extension. This is going to be a back bend, a standing back bend. Now, depending on how far you are bending back, it's going to be more of a back bend or less of a back bend. But looking at the thoracic spine, which usually has a kyphotic curve, in this pose, it turns into a lordotic curve. The more open the front of the body is and the more flexible the back of the body is, the deeper this back bend can be for each practitioner, which is going to be totally individual. We want to make sure that we are engaging Mula Bandha, so lifting the pelvic floor, sucking the lower tummy in. That will support your lumbar spine. Now, make sure that you are reaching up, lifting the heart, but you keep on dropping back those lower ribs, back towards the hips. And what I want to really emphasize here is that the cervical spine, the neck, although is following the natural curvature of the spine here and is in extension, we do not want to overdo this action, which I often see in my students and in photos online as well. People throw their head back and crunching the vertebrae of the cervical spine. Over time, this can wear off the vertebrae and can cause damage to the neck. So we want to make sure that we are engaging Jalandhara Bandha throat lock. And although we are taking the gaze up and that we are lifting the head backwards, we are supporting that lift with continuous action in the full front of the body, all the way from the pavis up to the chin. The arms are extended towards the ceiling, the shoulder blades are pulling back down and they are being sucked back into the back of the ribcage. So use those muscles underneath the scapulas and activate them. We also want to activate armpit lock that will also help you create room between the shoulders and the neck or the ears so you're not squeezing the shoulders up but you're taking them down and away from each other. So this is going to be an external rotation in the humerus bone, which is your upper arm bone. With this external rotation in the humerus bone, the insides of the elbows are facing each other. We also want to engage the lateral muscles. They will help us drawing those arms down while we are reaching up. So again, it's a pranic and a panic energy in the arms. And depending how open your thoracic back is, you can take the palms together or you can keep your arms parallel with each other. Okay, that would be your alignment cues for Hasta Uttanasana. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like it and share it. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you are pressing that little bell button so you always know when I upload new content. Make sure you head over to my website and you check out my ebook, Learn to Touch Your Toes. And of course, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely practice. Om Shanti Namaste.